Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to go ahead and start talking about cron jobs which is tied basically to backups as well because if you want to perform daily backups or weekly monthly backups you're not going to go ahead and sit down and type that every uh, same command every day or every month or something of a kind. No, you're not going to do that. Rather instead what you will do is schedule a task and state that it should repeat itself ever every I don't know you can specify you can basically say repeat yourself every minute however take a look at this format that I've written out here for you oops there we go this is a format which you would use in order to edit a cron tab in cron tab you would specify specific time intervals when do you want a certain command over here to actually run. Now I have given a direct command here although I would advise against it rather instead I would suggest giving a link uh, to a bash script and then from there run a set of commands or something of a kind. We will get into that and we will get into the Chrome tab and we will do all of that. For the time being I just want to explain to you what, uh, what it is used for and what format will it accept. Primarily because cron jobs, well, that's a standard basically, I would say. Primarily because it is used on pretty much every Linux distro out there, as far as I know. Maybe there are some other task automation systems, there probably are, but I'm not really sure. I haven't really seen any, and I haven't really used much of them. I've just used crontab as it is, uh, as it pretty much satisfies all of my needs and it's fantastic as it is also used by system administrators on the servers it's a term it's a text based tool a terminal based tool and it requires minimum resources although you can definitely load it up to let's say repeat something every minute that can and you can have like i don't know 50 tasks that repeat every minute that can be that can burden a system or something of a kind but generally you would never do that and the format that it accepts is very efficient. So you have minutes here and minute range goes from 0 to 60 as you might have guessed. Now as far as the hours are concerned you don't have AM, PM, anything of a kind, forget about those things you have from 0 to 23. That's it. Now next up can you guess what this is? I mean if this is a month in the middle so this is a month it goes from 1 to 12 uh, and what this what is this that goes from 1 to 31 well it's day of the month they the the range uh, of days can go from 1 to 31 and on the right side of the month so uh, this is the this is a month from 1 to 12 this is the left side day of the month and on the right side from the month what do you think this is so day of the week they go from 0 to 6. You have 7 digits here from 0 to 6, including 0. So 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Anyway, over here, the last thing that you need to enter here is your command. So you can set up a command to, as I have, I have typed in echo, I am alive. So imagine your computer printing this out at an unknown date just you see it on your uh, you see it on your screen on your terminal and it says I'm alive kind of freaking you it can it can freak you out but hey why not anyway that would be the format that cron accepts and if you remember in the previous tutorial of course we've done a lot of backup we've covered how you can actually perform a backup well here where it says CMD here you would actually type in that backup command or even better you would give a link to the script to the bash script and then that backup would be performed uh, either hourly or monthly or weekly or weekly or whatever whatever you, whatever suits your particular needs so it would work anyway there is one more thing uh, before I wrap this introductory tutorial to cron jobs that I would like to share with you. Now in VI there is also a very neat functionality okay VI has a lot of neat functionalities it has practically an infinite amount of options but 
I am in VI now. Here, let me just exit to show it to you. Okay, uh, right quit. Look, if I type in VIM cron text, and this is going to come in handy when writing bash scripts and when issuing command in the follow up tutorial, you should know this. If I go into the command mode and if I press a colon as we did before, I press I type in an exclamation mark. Now I can type in commands. And some some of you might say, well, yes, uh, we've done the commands already. Well, yes, but you've done the VIM commands. However, with an exclamation mark, you can type in commands such as ls space tilde slash, and this is going to list uh, the contents of my home directory. Take a look. Here, this is my this is these are the contents of my home directory. Press enter and you're back in VI. You do not need to exit VI to actually browse the file system and to take a look where is what. Strange, I know. And you can also issue other commands. I would encourage you to experiment with this a lot. I mean, a lot. All you need to do is enter command mode. So once again, type in an exclamation mark and then type in a command. You can pass arguments to that command, try different things out, and see what do you get. Not bad for actually figuring, uh, finding things out and figuring what is where. I wonder if man for ls is going to work. Yes, it will. So you see, you can actually access man pages while writing a script of a sort to run on your system. So if you're confused about something, if you're uncertain how something works, you can actually visit man pages and from there uh, figure it out very in handy right uh, incredibly useful anyway I would like to bid you all farewell and I hope to see you in the follow-up tutorial where we will deal further with task automation